In this Cinema 4D Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to create raked or stepped theater seating that's arranged along a curve. The first thing we need to look at is how we could arrange these chairs along a curve. It's easy if we just have one row of chairs, but with an entire grid, it gets a little bit more complex. You can't apply a deformer directly to the cloner because it's going to attempt to deform the clones themselves. Now the way we typically get around this in Cinema 4D is by using a matrix object to create a deformed arrangement and then we can clone onto that arrangement. It's really easy to convert a cloner into a matrix in Cinema 4D release 18 or later. Simply select the cloner and go to the MoGraph menu and choose the swap cloner matrix command. And when we do that you can see that now we have a arrangement of clones that follows that spline curve that we've specified. Now in order to get our chairs back and clone them along that arrangement, what we need to do is simply pull this chair out of the hierarchy and we're going to make it visible once again. And we'll go ahead and create an additional cloner. I'm going to hold down the Alt key so that it automatically becomes apparent of the selected object. We're going to set this cloner into object mode and drag the chairs matrix object down into that field. And now we have an arrangement of chairs based on that matrix object. But the next big problem becomes obvious now, and that is that when we're arranging a grid along a curve, we actually need more objects in the back of that curve, or the long end of the curve, than we do in the front. Because obviously we have more length here that needs to be filled. So rather than approach our arrangement this way, we're going to use a slightly different tactic. And for that, I'm just going to go ahead and hide all of these things for now and we'll go back up to our arc. This arc is representing our first row of seating and what we want to do now is create another arc that represents our back row of seating. So we'll make the radius of this arc 2,000 centimeters. Now what we want to do is create additional arcs that represent each row of seating. This is actually really easy with MoGraph because we can do it using a cloner object. So we'll create a new cloner and drop both arcs underneath. And now inside the cloner we want to set a special mode here for the clones. We're going to set it to blend. And what this mode does is it blends each clone between the two children. So as I increase this number you can see that we're getting additional splines and they're all smoothly blending between the start arc and the end arc. So let's go ahead and set this to something like 10 rows. And you'll also notice that because this linear cloner has an offset involved, we can easily set up our stepped or raked seating arrangement simply by setting the height of this offset. So we'll go ahead and call this cloner arc spline. And what we need to do now is arrange our chairs along that spline. So I'm going to turn this cloner back on and we're going to drag the arc spline in as the object that we're cloning along for these chairs. Now the really nice thing is that Cinema 4D recognizes that this arc spline cloner is made up of splines. And so when we clone along that cloner, it's going to give us the same controls that it would give us any time we're cloning along a spline. So here we can go in and change the distribution to step mode and set a specific distance between the chairs, say something like 50 centimeters. Now obviously we have a bit of a rotation here, so we'll simply go into the transform tab and transform this 90 degrees on the H rotation. So that's a quick look at how you can very quickly set up an arrangement of chairs for a theater, auditorium, or stadium. And the bonus is that I used the same technique to create the steps themselves that these chairs would sit on. I simply created two different tubes, my front tube and my back tube, and used cloners blend mode to create all of the intermediate steps along the line. Now, of course, this technique is transferable immediately to other industries as well. If we swap out our chairs for nail polish bottles, we have a very quick point of sale display. I hope you enjoyed this series of quick tips on how to arrange chairs in Cinema 4D. If you did, please hit that like button, share this tutorial, and visit Cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.